Welcome to a new particle tutorial. Uh, this time around I want to continue and show you how to do the sparks. And the sparks we're going to be doing are these ones. Pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so that's basically what we'll be working on. Um, gonna make it a bit make it a bit darker though this time around and this is the ambient bit and um, create Serial, I think it is. Skybox procedural. The sound. A bit dark. There we go. Contrast. Yeah, just for the fun of it, and also now you got to see how to make your own skybox procedural in Unity. So not a lot of people seems to know about it. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Uh, well, let's turn this one off and let's make a new particle. Let's call it Sparks. And I've, as I told yesterday, uh, when I had a new other tutorial, I basically created a texture. And I just took a quick square, I used GIMP, I turned that into a material. By doing right click create material sparks albedo particle additive and that's about it. That's the sparks. Uh, let's see. Off, that's good. Okay. First thing first, as you probably saw when we did the sparks to begin with, it has a like a small duration. So just like the um, uh, well, it wasn't star puff, was it? Uh, just like the star puff, we want to have around zero, less than zero point five. We're gonna go for a zero point four because it's. Uh, well, it's not the same, basically. So on the 0.4, and now as you see, the duration beneath there is less. So if I turn off looping, you have uh, three particles, about three particles, but they still uh, last uh, five seconds, which is a lot too long. So you want to have a delay of two, uh, 0.4. Three, it's not a lot. Um, we're gonna reduce the lifetime to be a bit like two constants. And we wanna have 0 0.2 and we wanna have 0 0.4. Basically, what this does is it mixes up some of the lifetime, so some of them might simply be. Uh, shorter and some of them might long last a bit, little bit longer 
and that's basically what it does. So the start speed, we want to have different speed as you probably see with sparks, they be, tend to be different. Nothing is ever equal, you want to have some variety, some differences, some randomness. So we're going to go for um, something like this, give them a different speed. Uh, the size, I also want it to be different. Uh, let's go for 0 0.1 and 0 0.25. Uh, because we want it to be really, really small um, by now I would normally change it to the type of particle I want just to get an idea uh, you might notice that it's not being stretched so if it changes the random mode to stretch billboard you'll see that it's uh, becoming more like it and for time being uh, let's just turn off the probes because it's kind of being calculated at the moment. There you go. So already you have something interesting you could use. We want to control the speed scale. I'm going to keep on the looping so you can actually see the changes. So as you see, it's increasing a little bit in its size based on the speed. Um, we want also not have it that long because we're going for a bit small. So let's reduce the size in uh, to in contrast of the speed. We we need to compensate for that. And I think that should be fine I'll take on reflection probe as part of my calculation for later um, let's see I think as usual we want to have shapes being the one being scaled uh, we want to have uh, we need it to fall down don't we uh, for we need gravity so there we go it's already folding down a bit might change a bit later uh, but we won't do it anytime soon. We don't need that many particles at any given time. We want a lot of particles over um, in the time span we do have, rather than amount of particles. We want to have a lot of them, uh, but die off quickly. So let's do something like this now it looks kind of like the fireworks you ha have on the ground on New Year's Eve at least down here that's fine we're doing sphere because we wanted to follow the sphere if you had a uh, hemisphere it could be equally good box would be like this mesh wouldn't do much because I don't have a mesh circle would look like this and edges will kind of look like this so we're gonna go for spare, sphere, we're gonna reduce. We're not gonna have it emit from shell uh, like we did uh, previously. We do need to have some color. And for color you kinda want to gonna have to have it like fading in the middle and oh that's a bit wrong we want it to be strong in the middle and fade do 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 Now we want this one to be like this. We want it to be tight. And we want another one. Further down the line. And the color. Um, Look for that. We need 
need something unique as well. something above something like this maybe we need another color in the middle uh, which is kind of being difficult uh, what's happening Set. I just want to see. Why it's not changing the colors to what I want. Okay. Let's try again. I want this one to be yellow. And I want this one to be. I want this one to be red. This one to be white. Okay. I want this one to be round. No. I want this one to be somewhere around here. And this one can be. Something like this. And this needs to be this, this needs to be like this. Let's do this one a bit up close. This one. Let's do the same for this one. Let's make this one a bit darker in color like this Let's put this one put this one back put this one out is this one a bit darker again Something that is. I think that looks uh, cartoonish enough. I will probably make it a bit more fading like this. Not as strong. And I might have done like a white one. Somewhere around there, maybe, and then fade it. So there is a some nice transition. There you go. Um, we do want size of a lifetime, and for this one, uh, it's pretty straightforward. We want it to go down, but we want it to curve up. 
also want to add another frame here or key we want to level it out Do something like this. Bit up. Then you want to tweak this one a bit to be a little bit more like so. You want to add a light as well. Um, forgive me for being a bit slow today. I'm making probably some mistakes. It's early in the morning and I have a busy schedule ahead of me. Um, light, 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 light. There you go. Light this one over. Do, uh, for example, 2, 2, 1, and 80. Random. Want it to be when you go down, and I think that's about it. Yeah, that's uh, more or less it. There you. This one we did uh, on our previous tutorials. If you haven't looked at it, you can go look at it. And let's move it a bit. There you go. Sparks with light and everything. Reflection is uh, calculated because I already did that. But if you turn on the probes, there you go. It shouldn't matter because it, there you go. Now you're getting those highlights and sparks as well. And that's really uh, the main thing. So, uh, recap uh, duration is because we don't like want it to last long. The delay is to give it a slight delay when it starts, start lifetime, and start speed. Uh, together they define the lifetime and the speed of the particles the size we want to vary so it's big and small we are using gravity modifiers so it falls down the shape because we want to scale the shape if we're doing the mass particle to keep control of amount of particles at any given time but we have a 250 being pumped out every 0.4 second we have a shape of sphere we want it to be coming from the middle so that's why we have a small radius color over lifetime we have white and gray to quick make sure there's alpha opacity and then we have a strong highlight in the middle you could do make it stronger if you wanted to it's really up to you and you if you're going for realistic or cartoonish we have size over lifetime which basically helps us uh, define the size over time so we want it to be on top big size when it starts and we wanted to on size as it gets uh, reaches a lifetime of one um, uh, we have uh, light to give to get the light effects and we have stretch billboard and we have speed scale length scale on the particles itself and we have the sparks the texture being made into material so thank you for watching and let me know if you want any other tutorials